Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited to be doing a video doing a direct comparison of the Lumino electric toothbrush, which is in this box right here, as compared to the Oral-B Pro 1500. Um, as you recall, if you look back, I got the Oral-B Pro 1500 about two years ago when I transitioned from a manual toothbrush to an electric toothbrush. At that time, I kind of rec or decided to pick the Pro 1500 after looking at extensive reviews on this toothbrush as compared to others at different price points on the market. And so I've been very happy and content with the Pro 1500 over time, um, but recently I had the opportunity to have Lumino send me their electric toothbrush to review in this video. And so the Lumino toothbrush is gonna be very similar to the Pro 1500 as far as its overall features, design, and construction. Uh, the major advantage though is Lumino um, really is a firm proponent of ecologically friendly products um, and products that are more sustainable for the environment. And so what we'll do in this video is I'll take a look at the packaging, I'll discuss the general features of this toothbrush, we'll walk through, through all the features of the toothbrush, and then I'll walk through um, brushing my teeth with it for the first time. And at the end of the video, I'll provide general feedback of how this compares to the Pro 1500. Um, because if it's similar to the Pro 1500, I'd probably recommend this over the Pro 1500 um, based on the overall philosophy and mission of this company. And so I'm super excited for this video and we'll just get started. Okay, so before we open the Lumino toothbrush, I did wanna go over the Oral-B 1500 real quickly just to give you a direct comparison as we go through this video. Um, but this is the Pro 1500. You can get it typically for anywhere from like 60 to $100 on Amazon. Um, I purchased this as a two, uh, a package of two toothbrushes quite some time ago, about two years ago. Um, additionally, I switched over to using aftermarket um, kind of like cheaper toothbrushes as far as the top insertable or brush heads uh, a little bit while ago. I'll say that you can check out the video on those, but overall the feedback from these, they're definitely inferior to the Oral-B um, toothbrush heads um, and I would not recommend them. Um, but the design of the Oral-B one is it's got a push button that turns it on. It's got three separate features, um, which offer three separate features as far as like a regular toothbrush mode, a uh, sensitive mode, and then like a polish mode. There's only gonna be three uh, features in this. Um, beyond that, it has a lithium battery that lasts a good time. It has a rechargeable ba battery, um, kind of like st station on the bottom. It's got a rechargeable light that when it needs to be uh, recharged, it'll blink and the overall power will go down. Um, but that's the gist of how this toothbrush works and what I've been dealing with for the past two years. Um, so this is an entry level that's gonna be very similar to the Lumino, um, but the Lumino should have some additional features um, and different um, uh, like met or modes uh, that should be provide a superior product overall. Additionally, there should be better like ecologically friendly aspects of this product as compared to the Pro 1500. So we'll set the Pro 1500 aside for now, um, but this is the Lumino um, electric toothbrush. Currently you can get this on Amazon for $75, um, which will encompass the toothbrush, the toothbrush stand, um, and I believe two different bamboo toothbrush repla replacement toothbrush heads on, um, included in the box. Um, currently they've got this light blue pattern, um, a dark green pattern, and then I believe a pink uh, pattern as well. Uh, you can definitely check out Amazon. And then replacement heads for these are gonna be 17 or $18 for three separate heads. Uh, so just keeping that, uh, that in mind for price range, but each of these are $75 for this box. Um, as far as the packaging, it's a nice elegant design. As far as the packaging, it's very streamlined. It's a nice overall product design. Um, basically says it's deep, deep cleans with uncompromising care on the front. Um, shows the toothbrush, shows that there's one, two, three, four, five, six different settings on it, a power button on the front, and this is the bamboo toothbrush. On the side here, they do mention kind of like their mission statement, so I'll just read this quickly. It says, Howdy, you hold in your hands the Lumino electric toothbrush. This toothbrush has two things that make it truly imperative for your oral health. The first is the bristles. These super soft and flexible bristles go above and beyond to provide deep clean that supports the integrity of your gums and teeth. The second thing is the brush head itself. It's made with sustainable bamboo, so when you replace it, you'll know you're making a better choice for the overall planet. Um, 
so that's good. Um, the nice part about this is with super soft bristles, you're less likely to kind of injure your gums, cause long, um, like prolonged irritation to your gums. Um, so even though it's a bamboo construction, it should provide better benefit for your gums as compared to like a harder uh, bristle type of thing. Um, and then on the back here, it says um, the Lumino tooth electric toothbrush was years in the making. Everything from the bristles to the charging station was designed and crafted with purpose to bring you a deep clean and uncompromising care. It says uh, bamboo brush head and super soft flexible bristles for deep clean that cares. So, uh, so that's on the top here. There's five brush modes to help accomplish your goals, whatever they may like, may, uh, you may like, um, which is right here. And then it says it has six weeks of battery life, which is drastically longer than the Pro 1500. I'll get about usually a week to two weeks of charge with this toothbrush, depending how frequently I'm brushing my teeth um, before I have to charge it. So if this is the case where it's six weeks, that's way, way longer and definitely better than the Pro 1500. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the only way to real te really test this out is use this over time and see how it functions. Um, and then lastly, there's an induction charging station, which is very similar to other type of electrical toothbrushes on the market. Um, lastly, um, this is just re re like repeated from the other side. So really we can just get this open and take a look at what comes in the box. So it's this nice elegant package where it completely slides off. It's really nice for nice for gift uh, gifting to other people. Shows the toothbrush right here out of the package. It's got this like soft insert right here. This is the toothbrush itself. Has a power button here and then the five different modes. So it says clean, whiten, polish, gum care, and sensitive. Um, and then I believe here it shows a, the different a bar for the different power settings and then it says Lumino. Um, it's this nice like mint green kind of color. Um, there's no other kind of major things on here. Um, it's a soft like smooth kind of feel. Um, it's a very elegant design. It's very similar to the Pro 1500, but basically eliminates all the pla plastic. So there's no like hard plastic around it. Doesn't have as much branding as the, the Pro 1500. Um, very comparable in size, virtually identical. And then the tooth head, toothbrush head on the top is a little bit different as far as the length of it. Um, but that's, that's the differences here. Um, we'll see when we actually turn this on, but the difference here as well is the, the Pro 1500 does have a, a pressure sensor on the top where when this gets pressed too hard, it'll brighten up. Um, I used that initially when I first started, but to be honest, over the time I've adapted where I don't need it. And then the power button's a little bit different in the, the, um, the size of it, but it's more of like a button. Um, but this does cycle through all the different ones. Um, we'll go through this in a second once we get everything out of the packaging. I just want to show a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, as far as everything else in the box, this just has this elegant like silk tab to pull everything out. Um, what it says here is uh, insert here for four ways to whiten your day with the, uh, without sensitivity. So it's got like a white and pen, um, toothpaste, mouthwash, and whitening strips. It's just advertising for that. Um, then you have your electric toothbrush manual, which is right here. Um, nothing too complicated here. It's very short. Um, but let me really quickly look at this um, um, and we'll kind of figure this out. But basically it says like how to use brush your teeth in the usual man manner, 45 degrees. Um, basically says that um, this should have a timer. Um, so yeah, it's very similar to the Pro 1500 where after 30 seconds it'll stop and then stop vibrating um, it basically indicating that it's a 30 second time period so you basically work in each quadrant of your mouth 30 seconds and overall two two minutes is the recommended time um, based on dentists um, that's ex virtually identical to the Pro 1500 very similar design as far as that um, and then it says three to six weeks of battery life and then five unique um, modes it does have a memory function where the toothbrush chip will remember the last brushing mode um, and we'll start with that mode each time so that's pretty cool because um, then you don't have to cycle through you can just go directly to whichever mode you prefer um, and then cleaning mode basically it, uh, press gently and continuously with the switch button for three seconds to go into a cleaning mode um, and then after that switch off and that basically is uh, cleans the toothbrush um, or actually no so 
We'll explain it here. So basically mode instructions, clean mode, helps remove plaque and tartar buildup, great for everyday use, so that's what they say. Whiten mode, best paired with Lumino whitening products. This mode will help visibly whiten teeth. Polish mode, this mode is designed to help smooth the surface of the teeth. Gum care, this mode is specifically designed to help care for your gums. Um, I, and then sensitive is for people with sensitive gums and teeth. This mode will reduce stimulation while still providing a dentist-proof cleaning. Um, personally, I have very sensitive gun, gums as far as uh, overall irritation, so I would lean towards the sensitive mode. Um, and then feedback based on my initial research with the Pro 1500, um, based on like scientific studies actually in like PubMed and literature, they say that electric toothbrushes are superior to manual toothbrushing as far as removing tartar and plaque overall and preventing gingivitis. Um, when I did the research on this one, I did not, um, I, it showed basically that the between Oral-B and um, uh, ultrasonic or whatever, Panasonic or whatever, um, or the mechanical oscillating version, the oral B one, um, seem to have better studies in head-to-head -head comparisons. Uh, meanwhile, the ultrasonic version, um, the only one, the studies that really showed superiority were ones that were like scientifically backed by the company, so it was kind of shady from that standpoint. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this is when I did research on the different modes, I could not find any research to really support um, these different modes as far as their overall functionality and whether it did provide a superior um, like brushing kind of quality. Um, so just be cognizant with that in mind when you're purchasing these because I feel like a lot of these are gimmicks just to kind of say like, oh, cleaning mode, whiten mode, polish mode, gum mode, sensitive mode, but really it's all the similar functionality and I think it doesn't make that big a difference. Um, really it's just using an electric toothbrush is superior to a manual toothbrush. Um, so just keep that in mind and don't put too much much emphasis on these different modes when you think about brushing your teeth. Um, regardless, that's kind of the other thing about this. Um, and then that's really it as far as the instructions that we'll go through um, based on that. Um, and then lastly, we'll see what else they got here. Um, Without these, it's just a fancy stick. So these are the bamboo heads. So we'll take a look at these. This is a really elegant, nice packaging. I really like this design. It's nice that you could just pull these out. You don't have to kind of strain with them. Um, and everything's all a very similar theme. It's just, I love these products that really emphasize the, the customer experience and the experience of kind of like working with this product. So I really uh, like how Luminous has, done, has packaged this. Um, so this is the bamboo toothbrush. So this this is what it looks like um, right here. Um, so basically it is wooden, completely wooden. Um, so it's bamboo and it's got pretty soft brushes, um, like your typical size, not too big, not too small. I'll say that um, compared to recently, I, I reviewed a, like a, a manual toothbrush that was like really, really soft brushes. These are a little bit harder than that, um, but this will be very similar to any toothbrush on the market. Um, as far as that, there's nothing sp like special about the toothbrush heads. They're really just bristles and that. So what these will do is they'll just pop directly on to the toothbrush um, and that's all you do. Um, basically it's slid right on. It doesn't twist or anything like that. Um, and that's what it looks like with the actual toothbrush head on. Um, before we get, walk through the different features, we'll go through what else, else is in the packaging. So this is, um, oh yay, another USB cable. So we'll just take a look at this real quick. Um, so as anticipated, it's a USB-A cable. Um, to, so it's basically USB-A um, to USB-C port. This should plug, we'll have to, oh, so this will plug into the stand, which is right here. Um, so this is the stand. So, oh, actually this is the stand. There's another component underneath that didn't come up with it. Um, so this is the stand right here. Um, so this is a pretty cool, unique design. So basically it's got this clear um, plastic kind of area where you can put the toothbrush directly in, which is nice because if you just brushed your teeth or anything like that, this this piece is separate from the charging station. So you can easily wash this, clean it. You don't have to worry about toothbrush getting stuck, toothpaste getting stuck in it and getting gross and disgusting. So the nice part is you can wash this separately from the actually charging space. Um, but that's what it looks, and then the charging, kind of stands is a very, very light stand. Like this thing's like richly like air light, super light. Um, got the Lumino labeling in gold with the similar like mint green, light blue kind of color. Um, and this char this plastic piece goes directly on. Um, and then basically the USB-C port plugs 
actually directly into this bottom part here and then the cable actually slides directly through the bottom here. Um, I will say that there's no snap. Oh, actually it does snap in, so that's pretty nice. Um, initially I was worried that this would not snap into place and would be kind of floppy, but they do have a snap directly into place here, um, so it keeps it cleanly in place. Um, as always, um, there is not a USB wall outlet or adapter, so you will have to purchase that separately, um, but those majority of households has have those through phone chargers. Um, but that's basically what the stand looks like um, directly out of the packaging. It's nice that this plastic piece comes out um, and then you can just put it directly in. So this is what it looks like. Um, I will say that at least from personal experience, I do not charge or do not always put your um, your toothbrush directly into the charger because you don't want to wear out the battery. Um, so what I recommend is only when the, char the charge on the, the toothbrush goes dead or needs to be charged, then actually put it in the stand and charge it. Um, I think that'll provide overall long better longevity for the actual charger um, or the battery in general. Um, additionally, I think with this setup, at least with it is you can take the charging station and use it separately from this plastic stand. Um, so with this stand, you can put it directly on your, your uh, your bathroom counter and use this as a stand separate from the charger, which is a nice feature as well, because um, one thing with the Pro 1500 um, that I've noticed is that because it does not have a chan stand that's separate from the charger, I'll put this directly on the counter and there's a kind of this on the bottom here, there's this hole that allows any residual like fluid and stuff to leak out. And sometimes like it'll get gross and grimy and you'll have to clean it with bleach and just clean the toothbrush. Um, and it kind of makes a mess of your counter. So having this built in kind of like stand for the Lumino toothbrush is definitely better compared to the Pro 1500. Um, so that's one thing that comes to mind. Um, and then lastly, what we'll do is we'll walk through the different settings on this toothbrush and the overall experience with it. Um, so real quick, we'll just hit the button here. So this will be clean, clean mode. And so as you see, the bristles kind of just, it's an ultrasonic. You can see them vibrating very quickly. Um, we'll see if there's a pressure sensor. So there's no pressure sensor on this device. Um, so just keep that in mind if you have to learn how to do that. Um, and then this should be the power. So it'll probably blink a separate color when it starts going dead. Um, but this is the clean mode. Now we'll look at the white mode. And sorry. So there you go. So the white mode actually vibrates where it actually sends the bristles out further if you can see that directly on the camera, but it, it, it's, it might be hard to tell, but basically it's vibrating them separately, which is pretty fascinating that it's able to do that. Next up, we'll do polish. So that's polish. So it's actually just vibrating in a smaller, like smaller mo motion and very like succinct, probably on the surface of the teeth, which is pretty interesting. And then actually that, and then this is gum care. Um, so it's very similar to the white in mode, but it's more of a focused, uh, like the whole toothbrush is kind of like a little bit more medium width as far as that. And then lastly, this is, uh, this is sensitive mode where it's definitely lighter and less of a vigorous vibration. It's definitely, um, it, you might not be able to tell, but you can tell based on the overall vibration that it's much less aggressive. So really quick, we'll just cycle these through. Um, hopefully you can see it on camera, but um, so that's sensitive and it does remember the last one you used, which is pretty cool. So that's clean. This is whiten. This is polish. This is gum care. And then this is sensitive. So I'm actually really fascinated by the fact that this can do all those different features with a simple looking toothbrush head on it. Um, I thought you'd have not have virtually no variation in the toothbrush and its functionality based on that. Um, so it's pretty impressive. Um, real quick, and then there's the power power kind of setting here, which is yellow. Um, beyond that, there's nothing else here, um, but that's kind of cycling through everything. Um, as far as the overall features, I'll say that it's it's very similar to the Pro 1500, minus that you have the different settings directly on here. You have the lights to illuminate it, which is a nicer feature. You do have a power um, uh, or battery life on the, directly on it, which is nicer because this only shows it when it's actually going dead. Um, and then the, the overall design and elegance is just a step up as compared to the Pro 1500. I'll say that the Pro 1500 is very similar in price um, compared to the Lumina. 
coming out at this price point. Um, however, um, the next step would be comparing the Lumino to higher up Oral-B toothbrushes that provide kind of very similar features at a higher price. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, but what we'll do now is I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna just do one quick toothbrush or brushing with this, and then we'll just finish off this video um, as far as my overall impression. Okay, so here's the Lumina electric toothbrush. What we'll do is just brush our teeth with teeth with this. Um, I'm just using my normal toothbrush or toothpaste. Um, and then we'll just get started and walk through this. I'll try the different modes, see if there's any noticeable difference. I'll provide feedback in between. Um, and then we'll walk through doing a, just a standard toothbrush or brushing for two minutes just to give it, get a general sense of how well it performs. But we'll get started. So first off, we're gonna do the cleaning mode. So I'm gonna talk with toothpaste in my mouth either way, just so I don't have to wash it out in between. But I'll say that first off, it's much more of like a vibrating experience compared to the mechanical nature of the Oral-B. It's more of just a vibration that's continuous. It does tickle your gum line a little bit, which is a little bit different than I'm used to. Um, probably something that I would have to get used to over time, um, but it's like, just kind of a constant vibration or ultrasonic sense. Um, so that was the cleaning mode. Now we'll do the whiting mode. So I'll definitely say it definitely tickles a lot. Like for those of you that have sensitive gums or sensitive teeth, this might be something you may or may not want to try out because it seems a little bit too aggressive and I'm hypersensitive where my teeth actually feel like it's vibrating. Additionally, I did break my jaw, so I do have trigeminal numbness from here over from like my lip over here on this side. So it's actually stimulating my trigeminal nerve there and kind of residual numbness that I have. So it might be something that's just not the best suited product for me because the, the, the vibration is actually making it super, super sensitive, which I've never experienced before. So it might be unique to my personal history and stuff, but we'll switch over to the polish mode. So we're now on polish. Yeah, so very, very similar. I don't notice a drastic difference. Sorry, but with the vibration, it's just really, really making that like trigeminal numbness I have get overstimulated. So I don't know if this toothbrush is the best option for me. Um, but next up, we'll try the gum care version. So I'll say that that's definitely lighter as compared to overall stimulation, but similar, it, it kind of stimulates that, that trigeminal response. Um, and then lastly, we'll do the sensitive mode, which is this bottom mode here. And as anticipated, that's definitely the lightest. That is way more manageable. I noticed it slightly as far as that trigeminal stimulation, but it's not like any of the other settings. That's probably what I would use on a regular basis. Um, and it's definitely lighter and less aggressive as compared to the others. Um, so real quick, I'm just gonna brush my teeth with the sensitive mode for a whole two minutes just to give it an overall impression. I do have to add some more toothbrush, toothpaste on here uh, just cause I spit it out or ran out. Um, and we'll speed this up for the video. Okay, so that's two minutes with the toothbrush. As anticipated, after 30 seconds in each of the quadrants, almost perfectly timed, um, as I reached around the top teeth all the way to here, um, once it hit 30 seconds, it did stop brushing your teeth for a moment. And then it continued to get indicate that you hit 30 seconds and did that for a total of two minutes. So 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, seconds and then two minutes. At two minutes, it completely stopped, it turned off, um, which is actually good because that prevents you from over brushing and over irritating your gum line. Um, I'll, say, I'll say that overall my, my teeth feel clean, like very clean, like you can tell that it polished the teeth really well, it did it effectively clean your teeth. 
like they're smooth. It, it's as anticipated for a, a toothbrush. Um, I'll say it's a little bit better than my Pro 1500 because recently I haven't noticed that as much. And that just might be the toothbrush heads that I've been using. Um, the, um, and then lastly, um, I will say that based on this overall design, I was actually impressed because the nice part about this design is because the, the bristles are a little bit more flexible and longer, um, it actually just allows them to reach and kind of adapt to your tooth sh teeth shape a little bit better. Um, so I can tell that like when I'm reaching in my mouth and pressing it against my teeth, it just basically moved and vibrated along the surface of the teeth um, very effectively and made it just easy where you could just press along your teeth, let the electric to toothbrush do the work, and basically allow you to go across all the surfaces without having to press or kind of manipulate beyond that, uh, which is what you really want in an electric toothbrush. Um, so that's really all I have. Um, so overall, my impressions. Um, first off, the overall design, the elegance, the multiple uh, different modes is a nice feature of it. The fact that it has this clean design where there's no hole at the bottom for leaking and getting disgusting is, is a nice feature. Um, the overall construction is more or better and more kind of streamlined as compared to the Pro 1500. It's not made of that cheap plastic. Um, the brush head is something that's a little bit unique and different. Um, the fact that it's made of bamboo is better for the environment, but more sustainable and more eco ecologically friendly, um, which is great. Um, the brush design, even though it's simple, um, seems to work effectively. And the fact that it's so like longer brush head, uh, longer uh, toothbrushes um, that are more flexible allows you to kind of contour across your gums a little or gum teeth a little bit better. Um, the major, major, major drawback, at least from my personal use, is I've never worked with like an ultrasonic toothbrush like this before. Um, and so all of these more aggressive settings or more stimulating settings um, just stimulate my prior jaw injury where I have that trigeminal numbness. Um, so it's just too sensitive for that. Um, but that's something that's unique and for my personal problem, but it, it might be something that other people have. So just keep that in mind. Um, but as compared to the uh, the oscillating mechanical nature of the oral B, I'll say that it probably cleans very similarly. It's just a different mode of action. Um, so that's really all I have. And then, um, or lastly, what I'll say is the stand overall is much more elegant as well. Um, it's a USB-C charger, which is nicer compared to your traditional wired wall adapter. Um, and the fact that the stand has that clear plastic cup that can actually be removed and used as a permanent stand when you're not charging it is nice as well. Um, so overall, I'd say that this toothbrush is definitely more superior or better compared to the Oral-B Pro 1500, um, especially if the longevity of the battery life is longer. Um, it's better for the environment, more ecologically friendly, the design is more elegant, um, the packaging was definitely more elegant, and the stand's more elegant. So it, all those aspects are very nice. The big, big, biggest drawback is uh, the ultrasonic nature and the fact that it stimulates my germinal nerve a little bit more, um, which is, just might be unique to me and might not apply to anybody else. So this is the Lumina electric toothbrush. You can get it on Amazon for $75. Definitely check it out. I'm very impressed with this toothbrush and I've been using the Pro 1500 for over two years now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll use this over the upcoming months and provide a, a circle back with another follow-up video as, it as how it compares to the Pro 1500 over time and whether I've run into any issues. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, comments, post them below. Um, but that was the Lumina electric toothbrush.